Welcome back to Lunch Break. I'm Tanya Rivero. Author Ken Follett has wrapped up his Century Trilogy with the final book in the series, Edge of Eternity, to be released globally on September 16th. Here to explain the enormous popularity of Ken Follett is WSJ reporter Lucy Feldman. Lucy, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. So here we have it, Edge of Eternity, the latest in the series. It's enormous. Can you tell us a little bit about it? It brings us almost up to date to modern times, doesn't it? It does, it does. So he starts the series with the beginning of World War I and sort of gives an explanation for that from the point of view of these fictional characters and then goes through World War II and the Great Depression and then to here all the way through the fall of the Berlin Wall. Fantastic. Now, as you can see, <laughs> as our viewers can see, these are enormous books. How can we explain his popularity in an age of super, super short attention spans? That is the most interesting question about this author, I think. He does write these massive historical epics and they sell like crazy. I think the best way I can explain it is the way he explains it, which is that he really, really writes for the reader. He right. tries to put something exciting on every page and make sure that you just want to keep turning and never stop. What is his writing process? It's very elaborate. It takes him about eight months, he told me, to do an outline. And at the same time, he's doing a lot of historical research and using consultants to make sure everything's accurate. And then he'll do a draft, takes another eight months, and then another eight months will be spent revising. He'll put one page of comments from his editors and consultants against one page from his draft and go through and rewrite the page. Wow. And it pays off because we know he is, he's globally popular. At one point, his book Pillars of the Earth was voted the third most popular book in Germany after the Bible. I thought that was <laughs> wonderful. And he's created an empire. Tell us about the Follett office. So the Follett office used to be run out of these converted barn and pig stables on his property in Stevenage, England. And now they own an entire office building. They occupy a, f a whole floor, 24 people on staff, and they want to build a media center so he doesn't even have to travel as much as he does now because he is popular in Absolutely. so many Absolutely. And of course, there are the TV and movie deals. Sony and ABC are turning the series, the books into a series. They are. And I think it will be his ninth or tenth adaptation, actually. They do seem to translate well to the screen because the stories are so compelling, the characters are so compelling, and he, he says he does that purposely, right? He, he writes very, very compelling characters. You want to find out what happens to them. Absolutely. All right. Well, Lucy, thank you so much for that.